Hey Scorpio, welcome to your five cards in five minute reading. This reading is for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. If it doesn't resonate with you, it wasn't meant for you, as sometimes your other signs are stronger. And also this is a timeless reading, so you just might be getting it at the wrong time. Okay, five cards, five minutes. What do my Scorpio friends need to know? What do my Scorpio friends need to know? Oh, before I forget, uh, today I'm using the Intuit Tarot Controversa Classic Edition. I really, I really like this deck because there's lots of people in it, and so it can make it really chatty. <laughs> the deck is chatty. I mean, you know what that means? The deck is gossiping. Um, okay. What do my Scorpio friends need to know right now? What do my Scorpio friends need to know right now? What do my Scorpio friends need to know right now? What do my Scorpio friends need to know right now? Okay. Oh, stagnate, lack of growth. Uh, seven of of, con of coins reversed. Um, you've kind of planted your seeds in the wrong place, Scorpio. I hate to tell you that, but, uh, you know, this could be an investment that has gone bad. Um, this could be um, any kind of seeds that you planted, really. Um, it could even be your garden. Maybe you put the onions in the wrong place and, and now roses are coming up or some sort of thing. Um, but it's just feeling really stagnant and because there's like um, nothing's coming to fruition. Let's see why. Oh, now we got the um, page of cups, vulnerable, broken dreams. Uh, so I think this is has something to do with maybe a love affair um, that is just it's just getting boring. Um, it's not going anywhere. You know it isn't. Um, but you might be thinking, well, I've already put in all this time with this with this guy. Um, let's see. Self-love. Time for reflection. Ace of Cups. Reverse. This is tears. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, and you know it, Scorpio. You know it. You know it's gone, it's gone stagnant. You know it's gone boring. Um, you really wanted to make it with this guy. But it's time to move on. Like it's it's time to move on. And this is even your cup and it's it's reversed. Um, so that's tears. The, the water, the tears are coming. Um, and it's time just for self-reflection. It's time for you to look after you. And uh, sometimes that just is admitting that this is not working at all. Um, we got here, redirect, lack of ideas. You know, maybe you're stuck in like, this is the only guy I'll ever love, or this is the only partner that's ever good for me. And, and you're, and you're crying about it. And so you can't, your, your lack of ideas is maybe how to break up. Like I can, I'm thinking of that song, 50 ways to leave your lover. Um, so you're just, I, I think you're just like, it's easier to stay in this terrible situation than to come up with an idea how I'm going to, um, move forward with this. Interesting. We have so many reverses. So that tells me, uh, things aren't moving anywhere forward or backwards. Um, oh, <laughs> and even your last card is a reversal. King of wands, uh, ruthless and unpredictable. This guy's a bully, um, um, probably has some narcissism. Um, that's why I think you're scared. I think you're scared of him. I think you're scared of leaving him. Um, what's the underlying? Ah, yeah, the fool. Impulsive. R fools rush in. You know what, Scorpio? You saw the red flags and you refused to see them. And because you thought, you know, you could rescue this guy. You thought you could, um, you know, he looked like a knight in shining armor to you. He looked like a project to you. And uh, you thought it was real, you thought it was real love, overflowing with love. Like maybe the sex was really good. Maybe it was really, you know, really amazing. But right now it's going nowhere. Like when you have all reversals, all the cards are reversed. It tells me it's not moving forward. It's not moving backwards. It's like it, you're stuck in the mud. You're stuck in the mud. You don't know what to do because you have lack of ideas. You don't know. Uh, maybe you're sharing a place with them. So it's like... I don't even know where to start looking for a new apartment. 
Um, you know, maybe, maybe your business partners. So you don't even know where to start with that. Like not only do you split up the uh, relationship, you're also splitting up the business. Also, I think you're a little bit scared of this guy. I think he is a little bit unpredictable. I think he is a bully. I think he's a narcissist. And I'm sorry if you don't like to hear the truth, but that's the truth. You rushed into this. It was a passionate, passionate, passionate um, time. Lots of hot sex. Uh, he said all the right things. He did all the right things. And now I think you're trapped it with a narcissist and you don't know, you don't know how to get out. I think you're mentally beat down. Um, I don't, uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, maybe even physically, uh, because this guy is a bully, um, and he's unpredictable and he's ruthless. Um, he's a real fucking bastard. Um, uh, I'm going to pull a few more cards for you because I want to give you some ideas how to get out of this because you just feel so stuck. So I'm sorry, this isn't going to be a five minute reading for you. Um, I'm going to go in a little bit deeper because I see you need help with this, Scorpio. I'm not going to leave you hanging here. Um, so let's read a few more cards. Let's go a little bit deeper. Uh, let's look in these lack of ideas. What do my Scorpios need to know to get them out of this? They rushed into it. Um, they wanted to ignore the red flags because sex was hot. Um, but now it's just broken dreams and uh, they don't know how to get out of it. And I think you're a little bit scared, um, which is unusual for you, Scorpios. You aren't afraid of a lot. Um Let's see, what is my Scorpio? What are some ideas that my Scorpio friends need to know to help them with this? What do my Scorpio friends need to know to help them with this? I'm really sorry you're going through this, Scorpio. Um, but I want to I wanna give you some ideas of what to do. Uh, Re-engage, seizing the day, four of cups. Yeah, you're you're ignoring you you to me to you, it's easier to ignore than to re-engage seize the day. So what you need to do is take some action. You need to look around at what you can do. Um, you need to re-engage with you, with the strong Scorpio people that I know that you are. There will be a resolution and harmony will be restored. Um, you know what? They might be looking to get out too. Uh, shortcuts, seeking closure, yeah, that's fine and dandy. Those are some great ideas. But like, what can you actually do? Um, when you... Four of coins, material attachment. Get your money together. Um, get your things together. Uh, that may make you feel, um, you know, feel a little bit better about your situation. Um, like, see, in this, you're, you've got all your stuff gathered in the purse. He can't really see what you've got there. So maybe that's one thing you can start doing is start gathering your things. Um, you know, make sure if you're sharing a bank account, take out your half. Um, if you um, are sharing an apartment, um, maybe start packing um, uh, something like that. But you have to start gathering your stuff so you can see actually how much you have. I think maybe that you are, maybe you think that you don't have that much. Um, so you can't leave because you don't have enough money. You don't have a bed, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Even make a list if you're sharing a place. How much of that is yours? If you're sharing a bank account, take your half out, that kind of thing. Um, and I want you to restore harmony. Stop fighting. Um and seek closure. So, you know, maybe just think of things like, uh, this will soon be over. Uh, so I'm not going to, this isn't not worth the fight. This is soon going to be over. I'm taking steps to end this. Uh, procrastination. Yeah. You know, you're procrastinating leaving this guy. You really are. And the clock agrees with me. Um, you're procrastinating leaving this guy divorced there you go discord people divided you have to just leave this guy you just have to pull it up you're stubborn pulled by materialism you know what that goes back to material attachment i think you don't want to leave this guy because you're afraid you're going to either lose your status you're going to lose what money that you've saved you're going to lose 
um, all, all that you've put together. You might even think that time, all the time that you put into it, um, is this is ruling rule. You're being stubborn about this Scorpio. So I could read all these cards and it won't matter because you're being stubborn about, um, leaving this, this bully here. Um, you're not going to fix him. I don't know. You're not going to fix him. Um, you're not going to repair him. You're not going to make him stop drinking. You're not going to, uh, make him find a job. Um, you won't just, you won't. Okay. So get your shit together. Seize the day. Stop fighting. Stop the argument. Stop the fighting. Um, because you're seeking closure now. If he leaves the toilet seat up, so be it. Soon that you won't have to put up with that. So think about it. Is this fight worth it? Gather your material things so you feel stronger about what you do have. And stop with the procrastination. Because you guys are done. You're done. You're done. You're done. He might even um, um, be thinking of a way out himself. But somehow you guys are entangled. Whether it's through business or through sharing a place. Uh, or even just entangled by, I put so much time into this. Just please go, Scorpio. Just go. All right? Take care.